But while you're lying to yourself, and you're lying to your people, and you're lying to Hashem, and you go and you pray, Hashem, we need money, Hashem, please. You're not really asking it. You're demanding it. You're trying to run away from your commitment, from your truth, from your real lack of confidence in Hashem. Before of going and asking for more money, you need to go and heal your nefesh, your spirit from inside, and to develop the real confidence in Hashem Ibarach. To deal with the fact that I am lack of faith is in priority, is more important than to go and to find money now. For people it's very easy to run and to blame people in their own fears, in what that happens. Now there's a huge fire in Israel and everyone are saying it's because of this reason, because of that reason. And the, 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 the Palestinians, that's the biggest joke of them all, the thinking that it's because of the new rule against the Muazin and, and, and all of those nonsense. Everyone are making their, their um, they have imaginations and they're, they're forcing the world to believe in, in their lies instead of dealing with the truth, instead of looking with your eyes to the truth, to the roots of the truth. And trying to listen. I'm not saying I have the answer for that question. Why we have fires now in Israel? Why the, the Palestinians decide? What's the reason? What's the hint? What I, I, me, myself, I haven't asked myself that all the way. I believe that if I'll go and make a deep investigation on that topic with Hashem, I'm going to go and have a long talk with him on that. I'm going to come to the answer. When Rav Shalom and I were talking about um, about the, the uh, gays, we were talking about people that are gay. And Rav Shalom himself told me that even the biggest righteous people in this generation, they don't know the reason completely on why and how to help those people that felt that to be gays. We don't know the answer. Why is it happening? We don't. So he said to me, I think I need to go and do six hours it bodedut on that, that Hashem will open my eyes, that I'm going to see what's the reason for that. And then he will have the solution, the, the answer, how to answer those people. Why they have desire for the, the, the same sex, why they're attracted, and why they have emotions, and, and why they feel so, such rejection from the other sex. What, what, what's going on here? It's a question. So his answer to me was, I need to go and make a long it on that topic, a long inv investigation, until Hashem is going to open my eyes to see it. How are you going to take something, how are you going to receive the wisdom from someone if you're not crowning him and telling him, you, you are my answer? You want to come to listen to your rabbi on something. You want to learn from your rabbi. As long as you think that you can teach your rabbi, you're not able to soak, you're not able to receive from him. As long as you think that you have something to teach him, I'm not saying that you're not. But when that is your approach, when that is your way of thinking, I can also give him. So you're coming to, to influence, you're coming to give, so you're not open to receive. So as long as you have advice, you, you don't really come to learn. So... This is why you're not learning. This is why you can listen to a class and it's not all coming in. You're not coming with the answer. In one class you can learn so much wisdom that you won't have questions for 20 years. You can go and take some lesson and to go with it and that's it and all the way. When you come to understand the purpose of your being, when you understand what, based on, based on what the relationship with the Creator is, based on what? Really, really, my connection with the Creator is based on what? What is the real beginning of, of my relationship with the Creator? What, to, not to ask those questions, it's just to live your life in a lie, in deny. Even if you're going to be from, even if you're going to be religious, even if every morning you'll go to shul, even if you're going to be 100% modest, if you don't know what you're doing here, if you don't have a purpose of why you're doing it, if you don't focus, if you don't have an intention while doing it, so it's all external. It's all a lie. It's a, it's a game. Playing religious. Okay. One can play Jew, one can play Christian, one can play Muslim. It's all a game. It's a fake. Only when you understand what it's a mission here. Hey, I have something to do. 
And then you need to ask yourself, is it really, am I, am I really fulfilling my destiny? Is it really the will of the Creator? 